One of the most powerful panels or concepts in Photoshop are layers. Layers are everything in Photoshop. And if you haven't seen it before, it's just awesome what you can do with layers. So let's go back into Photoshop. And this is where we left off with our, with our clock and our happy people back here. Our move tool is selected up here in the toolbar. And here are our layers over here. Layer one, this changed the name of this. I just double click on that. Layer one, I'll call this one couple. And this layer here, I believe that's the clock layer. It's always good to name your layers. And I've seen designers have literally 200 layers. I mean, you, you can have all the layers you want, just stuff on stuff on stuff on stuff. Background, I'm going to unlock the background and double click it. I'm going to call it a uh, side walk, sidewalk. Hey, okay, there you go. Okay, so now we've got our layers. Now, uh, I was teaching Johnny Cochran uh, uh, Photoshop, and uh, uh, I t he, sa he said, Bill, he was walking out of the class, and he said, Bill, I finally got it. I said, well, what, Johnny? He says, he says, Bill, in Photoshop, if you want to affect, you got to select. Only people that saw the OJ trial can relate to that, but anyway... So if, if right now um, the sidewalk layer is selected, if I want to move the clock, I have to click on the clock layer, make sure that the move tool is selected, then I can move the clock. If I want to move the couple, I have to click on the couple layer, then I can move the couple. If I want to move the manhole back here, I have to click on the sidewalk layer, and then I can move it around also. Uh, there's a keystroke, actually, which I find very handy. On the Mac, if you control-click on an object, it will go to that layer. It must, uh, it, it's command-click on the Mac. It must be control-click on the PC experiment. You'll get it, but it's a very handy keystroke. Um, now, right now my clock is on front, but what if I want the couple to be above the clock? Well, I can go to the couple layer and drag the couple up and now the couple is in front and if I want the sidewalk to be on top I can drag the sidewalk to the top it's so cool and uh, we resize some images so if I want the sidewalk to be uh, smaller I can go to the edit free transform we did that earlier and I can go to a corner, shift, drag to make that smaller. And uh, let's shift, drag a little more, make it smaller. Hit return on the keyboard. Then let's go to the couple layer. And uh, I'm going to put them on top. I changed my mind. And I'm going to go edit, free, transform. And I'm going to shift, drag to make them smaller and put them uh oh, I just moved here, here, here's the, here. I just moved the center of the object. You saw that in a different episode. I didn't want to do that, but I can, I can drag them up there. Maybe they may as well tilt them. Why not? Yes, tilt them, put them right there. Hit enter on the keyboard. Then I can go to the clock uh, layer. I might command click or uh, uh, option, uh, uh, control click on the PC and uh, move my clock. Maybe I'll just put the clock right in the middle. I mean, so layers are very powerful for selecting layers, dragging things up and down. Um, uh, now, th this is an, an in... Well, one thing that I find really cool, uh, I'm going to select the couples layer. If I, if I want to affect, I've got to select... And so I select the couples layer, and there's this thing down here at the very bottom of the layers panel. Maybe I'll just bring the layers panel out here and undock it. Personally, I like to have I like to have my my panels just like floating around here. I just I like to just drag them out here so that they're out here doing where I want them to be. And if I double click a layer name, 
then only the name shows up. It takes up less real estate. So, so uh, now at the very bottom of the layers panel, notice this little FX thingy right here. FX. Ooh, I don't know what that is. Well, let's click it and see. Uh, drop. Th these are all effects we'll go into later, but the thing I use a lot of is drop shadow. I think this is so cool. If I come down here and I click drop shadow, all of a sudden this panel opens up here and then drop shadow is selected and I can come down here and look a handy dandy little opacity drop shadow and I just click OK. I got a little drop shadow there and notice now the layer is selected. It says drop shadow right here under effects. I can drag that around wherever I want it to go. Um, another thing about layers Oh, if I don't like the drop shadow, I can click the drop shadow and just drag it to the trash can and it's gone. I'm going to do it. Drop shadow's gone. Trash it. Poof, it's gone. Another really cool freaking thing about the, uh, about the uh, layers panel is that whatever layer is selected, notice this opacity doohickey right here. So... If I want to reduce the opacity of that layer, ooh, look at the young, loving couple. That's how love is. It comes and it goes. Hey. Or so you can fade them in, fade them out. Uh, but, but it's so cool. So you can reduce the opacity of each and every individual layer. You can drag the layers up and down. Oh, I forgot about the magical eyeball. You'll be working on stuff. And yes, I love the little couple, but I want to work on the sidewalk and the couple's getting in my way. So if I poke the eyeball, bing, they're temporarily gone. And now I can work on the sidewalk layer. And when I'm ready to bring the couple back, I'm done working. I can doom, go like that. And I believe if you hold the alt key down and click an eyeball, only that layer will show. This is very handy if you have like 20 layers, uh, 30 layers, it will happen to you. Uh, and if you uh, alt-click the eyeball again, all the layers come back. I'm going to alt-click the clock layer. Doop, everything's hidden except for the clock layer. Alt-click again, boop, everybody comes back. Or you can drag through all the layers you want to show or hide. Eyeballs, dragging layers, opacity, and adding drop shadows. Um, one more thing, the couple and the sidewalk. This, I'm going to uh, move the couple right over here and put them right over the sidewalk, but maybe I want to move the sidewalk and the couple together. Oh my, if I shift click on the couple and the sidewalk, then I can move them together. So if you, you can select multiple items or if you want them to stay together you can click this little link button to do and now the sidewalk is linked to the couples layer so you can drag them around in unison and it's so cool if I go edit free transform I can scale them in unison make them bigger in unison I can tilt them in unison all of a sudden the two layers are like the lovely couple they have become one. So there you go, the very powerful layers palette. Enjoy it. Be powerful.